Hello, hello, Sharon here, and today I want to speak to you about Canva and one of the features that you might not be aware of, which is the color palette. So the good news is that you can still create a color palette even on the free account. So there's a few limitations, as in the fact that you can only create one palette of up to three colors and you can't include your logo, but it's still a good thing to have because it saves so much time if you're designing loads of like social media posts, for example. So I'm going to show you how to create your own color palette, how to match colors with your photos and where to find even more color palettes available to you. So let's crack on. The first thing we're going to do is create our own color palette. And what you need to do is once you've logged into your Canva account, I'm actually using a free version for this um, tutorial. Once you're in your Canva account, go down to the left hand side menu and click on brand kit. Scroll down to the brand colors section and click on the big plus symbol here. And this is where you begin adding your colors. So if you know the hex code of the color that you want to use, you can overwrite this and just type it in here. So that's my first color from my logo. And then to add another color, click on the plus symbol on the next bit, next square here and overwrite that one. And then you can use a third color as well as obviously, like I said, um, we're in the free version, so you can only have a maximum of three. So once you've added in your colors here, click on where it says untitled palettes and type in the name for your color palette. If at any time you want to change any of the colors you've created, click on the color and just retype in another hex code for the color. If you want to remove the color completely, hover over the color and click on the little X that appears in the top right corner. If you want to remove the actual color palette itself completely, then go to where the three dots are in the top right corner here of the section. Click on there and there's an option to delete the palette. So now you've created your own color palette, the next step is to use it in a design. So I've got a design open here. I've just taken a stock photo of some flowers here and I want to add in some text. So I use the keyboard shortcut T for adding in text and I'm just going to type something here. Click on the element that you want to edit, go up to the text color, obviously I'm doing text so go up to the text color here and you'll now see a section down the left hand side where your color palette is now located. And you can just edit the text as you want with different font type, size, and whether you want it bold, etc. You'll be amazed at how much time you save just by having the three colors always available to you when you're editing and creating your designs. The next thing I want to show you is how to match colors in an image. So another great feature of Canva is their, their own color palette generator which gives you the hex codes of colors from any image that you upload. So it's great for coordinating colors when you want to overlay text on your image, for example. So to do this, you need to go to their, their own color palette generator, which you can find at canva.com forward slash colors for, forward slash color hyphen palette hyphen generator. I'll put a link in the description below as well to this. So this opens up um, this page when you're on it. So the first thing you need to do is click on upload an image. So I'm just going to upload an image here. So the image then, then appears on the right hand side here and below it there are four hex codes um, which are the codes of four hues taken from the image. So you can see here there's the pinky colour, there's a the darker colour from the stem here and there's a couple of the greens as well. So that's another way of using their own colour palette generator. Then finally, another free resource that Canva has is its colour wheel, which again, you can go to canva.com forward slash colours forward slash colour hyphen wheel. I'm not going to really go into this too much, but basically you enter the hex code and they give you back a combination of colours to complement that colour. You can then export these colour codes as a PDF if you want to refer to them later and you can choose a colour combination here. So you have your different combinations here to complement those colours that you choose. And then you can export your palette as a PDF so you can always refer to it later. So that's another free resource that Canva has available to you that you might not be aware of. And finally, I'm going to show you where to find even more colour palettes. If we want to um, edit this design here and you want even more colour palettes available to you, then scroll down the menu on the left hand side and click
click more, then click on styles at the top here. And this opens up a whole range of color and font palettes for you to choose from. So if you want colors only, then just select colors here at the top. Then highlight the element on your design. So if we highlight the writing here, the text, and choose one of the palettes. So if we go for this one, Modern Ventures, and you'll see it changes. So you basically keep clicking on it because it will shuffle through each color. Oh, let me just select this again. And you can see it scrolling through the different colors. So there you have just some of the free options available to you in Canva's color features. So I hope you found them helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments how you use the color palettes in Canva. Until next time, happy learning.